Okay, I, I think... Oh my goodness, Plant Base just sent it over the fountain rock. Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Today we're checking out Gene Rally 2, which released into early access on May 30th of 2023. So again, this is early access. There's gonna be updates, there's a roadmap. There's things that are gonna be improved and added, including online racing. We'll take a quick look at the options. This is what you have in this menu for those interested. I have the music turned down. Uh, we do have multiple cars to work with as well. So let's go into a local race. We have all these AI, which we can also customize. So Turbo, we can uh, rename Pancake if we wanted to. We can also improve their skill for each person. I kind of wish this was a number. So I could just easily like say we had a spreadsheet for, you know, if we were making our own storyline or whatever, I can just type in a number instead of the drag. Still, this is pretty cool that we can customize every AI so we can make them a little better. Let's make Doc very fast. And uh, here's the uh, track list in the base game uh, for early access again. Uh, this is no folder and then here are the gr classics gene rally classics so again i don't have the nostalgia factor for this game uh, i do like this kind of style i played top down racers growing up so here we can set our settings for the races we got damage we have fuel usage tire wear and here we go we are in gene rally 2. i know this is very exciting for many of those who played this back in the day it's also exciting for those who've just been really enjoying the the rise in top-down racers again um obviously if you follow this channel they you know that we are very much into circuit superstars so once this was announced to come back out i was uh, really looking forward to it looks like we have a few pit stops already potentially due to damage and uh maybe i should have turned the damage down for for this race i don't know it was interesting that they all kind of went into the pits that ovals are one of the toughest things for racing games to get down. I, I can't imagine the headaches that go into making AI competitive at these kind of tracks. But it looks like Doc wasn't too far behind. I kind of wish the, the leaderboard was more of like an, a leaderboard that actually went up and down. So I knew where to look for those around me. Right now, when I'm trying to find somebody, I feel like I'm just looking her all over the screen. It's kind of distracting me. So the oval, pretty straightforward. I, I don't really have too much to say after that first one. We'll get more of a, a look at the feel of this one here at this road course for sure. And we enter turn one. Let's see how the AI handle. We got some wrecks going on. Oh, big wreck. Pink is having, having some issues. And we make it pretty clean through that first section despite all the chaos with the AI. Oh, I slid. Oh, man. I thought these tires were going to have way more grip than they did. We're sliding through the turns here. I've seen a lot of pit stops right away. Are they really getting that much damage? That they're all pitting? They're all pitting. Maybe I should turn the damage down for the AI. It's going to be like that. I, I've got to imagine that's why, because they're not using up tires and fuel that early. Oh, boy. What is going on over here? All right, figure it out. Figure it out. Some of the AI are, are doing fine getting around. Might have been a poor choice on my part to throw the full field out there right away as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who's second? I'm looking around the screen. Joker. Who is in the white and blue? Is that right in front of us or is that them right there? I don't know who is who Joker is. If they're behind us. That might be Doc in front of us or Frosty. Oh, that is... Oh, that's the lead. Oh, we got to get that car. Uh-oh. And I'm, uh, my car is not feeling well. We have no tires. Oh, the pit stop actually coming into play. Here I'm, here I am talking down on the AI for hitting the pits right away. But it certainly affected me. I cannot steer this thing. It's like on ice. I will say, even when I did have tires, oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Even when I did have tires, oh no. Oh no, this car is trashed. All right, there we go. Finish. Uh, even when I did have tires, it, it felt very floaty. So not a good second race for us. I learned about pit strategy. Uh, we still have the points lead, and we have one last race in this first look tournament. Oh boy, figure eight time. This is going to be intense. We do have pits on the right side. We're still at the back of the field. Oh, they're all entering the pits already. Ah! That was a rock. All right, be smart. Be smart about damage. 
Gotta learn how much uh, using the gas around turns actually affects the tires. We had our first collision. The pink and the black car get into each other. I don't know everyone's names just yet. I forgot to really memorize them according to their color. We're making it through okay. We're making it through okay. I like it. Excuse me. Who's in first? We gotta find them. Rock. Who's Rock? This purple car, I think. So that's who. Oh no. Ah! We gotta catch Rock. I can't. I'm sliding all over the place. Cut me, Mick. Okay. We took first. Can we get this done? We have one more lap to go. Can I make it around this track? Oh my goodness, we almost we almost got nailed. Where's the start finish? We're not done yet. Oh, there it is up there. Okay. Right. <gasps> uh, uh, boom. Okay. Whew. Now I'm kind of missing uh that those overlays, the name tags. I've gotten so used to them with Circuit Superstars. I, I again, I kind of wish that the name, the leaderboards were all kind of like to the side and actually moved around like a leaderboard. And there we go. We won the first look tournament. So that was fun. I um I think what's going to shine with this game is the customization. And obviously uh, with the first early access release, the AI are just going to get worked on and get better. I know that's been a, a major focus for them. But it looks like they're going to have one significant release at per month, according to their, their blog post on the early, early access release. And of course, any emergency patches between them. Uh, but we should be seeing more tracks, more cars, better AI and physics as they work on it. They're talking about menus and the track editor and so on being improved. And then for those who played Gene Rally 1, uh, I think they are working on potentially bringing a track importer, which I guess would be really cool for all of you for the nostalgia factor. But uh, it, again, early access titles, you gotta take it with a grain of salt when you come into these things. Let's switch up the car and see, uh, I wish you could apply a change to everybody. Oh, we do have to switch everyone one by one? No! Okay, fine. It'll be like Rallycross there. So we got Doc, Turbo, and Rock. The workshop is up and running, but it's uh, it's still, you know, people are still posting to it. It did just release here today. So we're going to run these three tracks in the Rallycross car and see how that goes. I am going to turn down the damage factor, I think. So here we go. Rallycross time. We got three races on the dirt, pavement, and ice. And then after this, we will check out the track builder as well. Ooh, this one, I actually feel like I have more grip in this car on the dirt than I did with that general car. on the pavement i felt like we were floating around and this one it's actually like biting into the track it like i feel like i actually have a weighted vehicle in this one we are destroying i forgot to turn up the ai difficulty uh excuse us for these technical difficulties okay we're back again uh and i've increased the bot difficulties as well as customized our bots to some of the more familiar names they would uh, people who follow the channel would see. We got plant-based bot, eight ball bot, and pizza bot from our live streams in the BBRC uh, championship. So that's who we're facing. It looks like the bots are still having some trouble on the dirt. <laughs> I also feel, again, like the this car just feels like it's biting into the dirt and it feels like there's actual physics happening here. It feels really good. It's just now the AI are much slower than us because I guess I have more control in my car. But let's make it through this track and see if they're doing the same thing on the next track. Maybe it's just this build. And here we go. We're on whatever this one was called. I forget. We're at the rear of the field now. we got to get through the AI. Eight ball is off and running. Pizza Bot, get out of our way. Plant base running second. Oh my goodness. We're getting through there. That is a dangerous little section there. Oh, plant base bot sending it over that rock. I didn't even know we had rocks going across the track. And now we're working our way back up to eight ball. Oh, eight ball. That's a tricky little section. Eight ball made it through there pretty well. It's an inch. Oh, there is a jump ahead of those rocks. So you're not just like running into rocks. There's a, there's a dirt jump over it. Oh, I saw that. You got a little loose in that first turn, eh? Ah, eat some cone. Here we go. And launch. Well, let's not go into the ocean. 
But yeah, the uh, this car on the dirt feels absolutely latched to the ground. I, I mean, obviously it slides a little bit still, but it feels very... Like, I feel like I'm more in control of it than I was in that first car. That's for sure. I'm interested to try the F1 car too, the formula car, to see if there's any kind of downforce whatsoever. Right now, plant-based, eight ball and pizza is the running order of the bot racers. I think it's a race between them to see who gets second for the most part. Uh, but now this one, we'll see what my grip level is because <laughs> there's ice, as you can see, on half this track. Oh, slip sliding away. We're in second. Pizza Bot takes back the lead. Oh! Ooh, that was satisfying. All right, so I felt a little bit of grip. Maybe it was just that first car that just doesn't have a lot of downforce or grip or whatever. I am interested to take the formula. What are you doing, Pizza Bot? You letting eight ball get to the lead? Uh, I am interested to see. Oh! What the form? Oh, eight ball! Oh, typical eight ball. Always sassy, throwing us into a rock here. Uh, what the formula car does on on pavement, and how that feels compared. Oh, we just keep overshoot. Oh, they're gonna do it again. <gasps> you little. All right, we got. We can't make that same mistake. I can't go into the outside, into that turn. Let's get this pass done. How about you? You like it? There we go, eight ball. Take some of your own medicine. Oh, the bush almost took out, did some landscaping, and we get the dub. Ah, eight ball put up a good fight. I almost thought we were going to lose that one for a second. The AI were much better there, so apparently they don't like the dirt. So that's a thing. Uh, I'm sure that'll get touched up and improved. Let's, uh, I know we were going to check out the track builder, but I really want to see what does the formula car do on... I wish I could save my AI roster or something. And we are off and running. Don't slide. Okay, I I think... Oh my goodness, Plant Base just sent it over the fountain rock. I, I wouldn't go say fountain, but I realized it was a rock. All right, uh, we're still sliding, but they're... Oh my goodness, they're... They're out to murder. Um... We're still sliding, but I definitely... Will you... I can't even drive because of these cars. That's the most difficult part. They're still sliding, but they have a little bit more grip. I finally finished my sentence. Oh, I say that. Oh, no. We are all over the place. Oh, we lost. We lost. Who won? Pizza Bot? And we took an L to the eight ball as well. Oh, we have to redeem ourselves the next race. GG, Pizza Bot. Here we go. Race three of three for this formula invitational. Plant-based, getting off to a good run. Oh, some sparks going on as they went down that hill. They go wide on that turn. Nice save. Oh, we, we have some sparks flying. These cars are bottoming out. That's cool. Oh, we only have a few laps. We can't dilly-dally here. Some of the longer races, I think, oh, might go to our favor. Oh, Plant Base had a major wreck there. Dang it, I didn't even see that light post. I thought I was in the clear. Oh, they're toasting us. Last lap, we're flying through the air. What are we doing? Some major damage, I think. Oh, these houses and their yards. No, I don't want to lose the eight ball again. Oh, we flew. We flew. We landed in some circle over there. I'm not coming in last, Pizza Bot. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, we got destroyed. We got destroyed. This is embarrassing. I couldn't understand how much grip I was going to get. I think there's some uh, changes in elevation on this track that I don't fully realize visually. Because we were flying in some sometimes. It felt like you were leaving the ground. I am curious on like if there's... I saw if I paused it. One more thing I want to do. I, I just want to make sure that there's a replay. So let's go back into that race. And we're not going to run the whole race. But we're, gonna, we're just going to get a little bit into it. We'll pause and see if there's a replay issue. Or function. Okay. We'll hit escape. 
And no, replays don't seem to be available at this time. No, okay. All right. Uh, that, I'm sure that'll be on the way. I mean, it's in the menu. If you didn't see all of the cars we have, we have the uh, G General, the Formula, the Rally, the Classic, and the Lightning, which is the uh, trophy truck. So let's go take a look at the track editor and see what that brings us. So this is what you're greeted with in the track editor. Open manual. Oh boy, here we go. All right, I got a manual open in the uh, in the in the browser next to me. Okay, so I'm gonna work on a track real quick, and I'll fast forward it, and we'll see if you can guess what I'm working on. All right, here, here's uh, my first attempt. I, I think there's some things to learn, obviously, with shortcuts and whatever. But yeah, if you haven't guessed yet, Watkins Glen, it was my crude attempt at it. And uh, we have some, I tried to make some elevation. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Uh, we did the NASCAR style, uh, current style, non-boot. Uh, they don't do this extra section. That's why I kind of just left it simple like that. I've got to think there's a better way to do curbing, but I did it this way, I don't know why. And I haven't tried AI lines yet. For for some reason I click on this page all right so we control and click on a node so here we go all right oh this is this is gonna be fun all righty it looks so confusing because they like they close the loop before you're ready and then there's probably I, I'm probably skipping a little way too much space between these to make good AI they probably need a ton of nodes I probably got too close to the wall there, to be honest. Now let's go to pit lane. Let's uh, let's see what happens. There we go. That looks pretty good. Pit lane. I also don't know if the start finish has to be through pit lane. I'm assuming it does. Does that look okay? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure about this little uh, the bus stop up there. Oh, we are not zoomed in. Where am I? Oh, there I am. It's just testing mode. It's okay. Oh. All right, there's a little bit of an incline there. I could tell. That's good. Oh, the AI had some issues with the. Yeah, I think I gotta. I gotta think about a better way to do that. Uh, to do the uh, bus stop for sure. And the oh man, the uh, the curbing looks so bad. All right, it, it's not the best track, I'll admit. But for learning this for and trying these out for the first time, I'll take it. We got a track, that's that's what matters. So let's save that. And then uh, I'm not gonna upload it to Steam Workshop just yet. Cause like, I don't, I don't know if anyone else wants to actually drive this uh, hunk of junk. Where's Watkins Glen, is it here? Hey, what's it look like here? Do I have to adjust the screen and how it looks to those driving? Oh, we're so zoomed out. That's unfortunate. I do wish we were zoomed in a little bit. Oh, it's so zoomed out. All right, so that's something you have to adjust in the uh, the track editor as well. So noted. I'll make sure to make that adjustment for next time. The AI having a little trouble with the track, and I think that's just due to the lack of extra nodes. I got to put down a bunch, I think, to get them to work way, way better. Oh, we just bouncing off these walls. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to put a start finish line too. Oh well. And as well as the wall between uh, the track and pit lane, that would probably be good. But hey, it's a track, it works, the AI are getting around it. And that's gonna do it for our first look at Gene Rally 2. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope I showed off uh, what people wanted to see. And uh, we'll, we'll release some more content for this as they release updates or even checking out some of the other cars we didn't really drive in this video. But uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you wanna see more and leave a comment, let me know what you think. Gene Rally 2, some nostalgia factor coming back to life for many uh, young racers back in the day. And I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Till next time, peace out. How about you? You like it? There we go, eight ball. Take some of your own medicine. <laughs>